like we're entering the park. I'm super excited. I'm uh, gonna spend a couple hours there just riding a couple rides. Maybe the mummy. What do you want to ride? Uh, Transformers. Yeah, definitely those two. And I think that'll be it because we have what, like two, three hours? Yeah, something like that. The park closes pretty quickly, so. Yeah, and then it's gonna reopen for horror nights. So let's get to it. I think we have, well, we're gonna do all of them. Okay. Number one, Simpsons ride. Simpsons is where we're going first. I mean, you gotta start off simple, you know. Slowly get into things and then... And then so you wanna laugh before you cry. Exactly. I get you. Exactly. <laughs> what are you sipping on? A little bit of gin and juice. Oh, I didn't know they like drink that in the wizarding <laughs> world. That's funny. Cheers. Cheers. Think. You know what's funny? I've never really liked cream soda, but tell me it's butterbeer and it's bomb. Oh my gosh, guys, look at my hair. I was yelling my butt off in there. Me too. That's such a good ride. Every time we come here, we have to go to Mummy. It's like the classic, must do tradition. Hey, it's one of the best movies of all time. Yeah. yeah. Brendan Fraser. So, now that the adrenaline rush has worn, we are off to Transformers. I have a big, fat grin on my face every single time I'm on that, that coaster. Yeah, the special effects, oh. the practical effects, the sound effects. Yeah. It's so realistic. There's one point where uh, they like, it looks like you can get hit by a bomb or something. You could feel oh, the Oh, yeah, that's so cool. And I love how like they'll grab your car and it feels like they're grabbing your car. It has like just such realistic reactions yeah, to everything. It's like, oh. Shiny. It's so scary. Oh my god, they really uh, did well with picking the scenes. Yeah, sure. yeah. They get great actors to yeah. continuously do like the same motion. It's crazy, they do it on a loop for so many oh, hours. God. But yeah, they had the blood in the hall scene, they had the, uh, of course, the infamous door scene, they had even Frozen Jack, so that was it was really good. I yeah, liked or it. The, the naked lady. Oh, that, the oh naked. my god. She scared me oh, so god. badly. God. Loved it. Really good. Alright, so now that we've caught our breath, what are we doing next? Alright, there's two next to the shiny one. So you have to like split off and we're gonna go to the left side this time, which is gonna be American Horror Story and Jigsaw. So we're gonna hit those two. I'm down for... No, let's go American Horror Story because I have a feeling it's not gonna be as scary as Jigsaw. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. And I need a little break after going into the further. I'm still so a little too. traumatized, so... Yeah. Yeah, sound good? Sound great. Okay, that's it. So we just got out of American Horror Story and at first I was like, oh, this isn't is that scary. I haven't seen the show, but still, I, maybe I just didn't get the reference or something, and then... And then what happened? Oh my god. Like, it was a giant. It just cornered me and I couldn't get away. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a giant, like, tree? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Blair Witch stick thing? Listen, I don't know. You always think that you're not going to die in horrors, and I think I died like three times in that maze, for sure. I didn't see a lady stab me in the back. <laughs> And then there's another time I just missed another. And then the last time where I was just, I, I, I wasn't even flight, I was just fetal. That's it. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, he yelled a couple of times, so did I. But I was not expecting that walking tree thing. I don't know. You guys probably know if you've seen the show what we're talking about, but we haven't seen it. So <laughs> we were just like, what the heck is that? <laughs> it was like eight feet tall. Yeah. So, we're about to get our grub on. We saw that they had some food trucks, and they had this, I think this one is called the French Toast Grilled Cheese and Mac and Cheese and Bacon? <laughs> There's a ton of stuff in here. Ooh, it 
If I don't get a heart attack from these mazes, I will surely get a heart attack from this. Hey guys, so it's actually been a couple days later, but I'm back at the Woman Cave here, and I had such a great time at Universal. Always do. I mean, it's one of my favorite places on Earth. No offense, Disneyland, but <laughs> yeah, I just love movies, so it's like always an awesome time for me whenever I go. But anyway, um, as you guys saw, I did go to the Wizarding World, and then later on we went to um, Halloween Horror Nights. And let me tell you, if you are a horror fan, you definitely need to go if you haven't. Because it really just feels like you're in those movies. It's pretty freaking nuts. But yeah, I highly recommend it. Anyways, um, the reason I uh, brought you guys here today is because I wanted to show you what I bought out there. I got a couple pins that I really wanted to show you all. I have... Um, bigger 
plush figure, I guess you could say. And I have a smaller vinyl figure and then a couple keychains. So let's go ahead and start off with the pins. So as you saw in the video, uh, first we went to the Wizarding World during the day. So this is the pin that I grabbed from the Wizarding World. Guys, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, so I saw this and I had to have it. I mean, I really like how heavy duty it is and like that glitter that it has in the background. I like that shine. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, I am a Ravenclaw, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> I took the test um, on the, I think it's called the Pottermore. Yeah, Pottermore site. So um, yeah, this was a really neat, unique grab for me. Really liking it. And I gotta say, these pins are really pricey, but you know, it's not every day you're at Universal and they totally take advantage of you. <laughs> Anyways, this is the ne next pin. It is the Grady Twins from The Shining. Uh, one of my favorite horror movies, but yeah, it says come play with us. Very creepy, I love it. And uh, yeah, right down here it says Halloween Horror Nights 2017. You guys can see that, you know, it's pretty good quality. Is expensive, but you know, worth it. And yeah, as you can see there, each one of these is 15 buckaroos. Shoot. And next up, I got this awesome pin. Guys, this may be one of my favorite pins of all time. Um, it says Universal Studios down here, says Jurassic Park up here, and get this. The gate goes up and then you see Tyrannosaurus Rex. How cool is that? Freaking awesome, but yeah. Um, this one was actually a cheaper pin. This one was only nine bucks. That's crazy. And then for Horror Nights, I got this limited edition collector's pin. And of course, it's our favorite uh, pal, Chucky. I love this guy. And this is kind of a sepia tone. Um, I've seen another variant of it where he's just got his normal color scheme going on but yeah so I don't know how limited this is but I had to grab it because um, I mean obviously I'm a fan <laughs> and again I I don't always go to Universal Studios so you know got to take advantage when you're there and like you know it's limited so not too bad so yeah every year that I go to Halloween Horror Nights I always have to pick up pins because it's just an awesome thing to collect especially from these theme parks and yeah you know they're an arm and a leg for sure but I love them so you know sometimes you just gotta splurge a little bit when you're on vacation you know um, next up we have this vinyl figure that I also grabbed um, I also collect these anytime that I go to the Horror Nights um, I have to grab one can't get these anywhere else besides eBay for a marked up price, so you might as well get it there, right? So anyway, I really like the box art too, if you look closely. You can pause it there if you want to read that little blurb. It's very uh, poetic, but yeah, really cool little vinyl figure. I'm not going to take him out for you guys, I'm sorry, I usually would, but this guy I mean, I remember last year I bought the Michael Myers, uh, they're called Unim Uniminis. I bought the Michael Myers Unimini and it was so hard to put back in the box. Believe it or not, I was having trouble with this little latch thing right here. I don't even know what to call it. It's like a little tab and ugh, it was just the worst. So I'm just going to leave it in there for now. Maybe if I take them out at some point, I will show you all, but for now, this kid is staying inside. And next up, I'll show you guys the keychains I got there. Uh, these are from the Wizarding World as well. So this is an awesome, very detailed little mini hourglass. Beautiful, beautiful keychain. Um, and yeah, this is the one where you see in Dumbledore's office. Um, just chilling there, so yeah, I love that. And lastly, for keychains, we have the goblet from the Goblet of Fire installments of Harry Potter. Love this thing. Again, super detailed. If you look closely, um, it says Tri Wizard on there. So that's really neat. 
this is going to be displayed with all my other Harry Potter stuff. And last but not least, guys, I had to pick this up. You know, I'm not a huge plushie fan, but I will get them if A, they're a good price, and B, if I just absolutely love the character. Some There are some characters out there that I just, I can't help myself. If I see a plushie, I'm gonna get it. And one of those is most certainly E.T. I love E.T. And look at this thing. This is kind of a bigger plush too. I love it. It's so cute. So adorable. Um, he was 20 bucks. So, I mean, considering that some of those keychains were 14, 15 bucks, this thing was a steal practically. I mean, let's be real, right? But anyway, yeah. I mean, you could also make the argument that 20 bucks for a plushie isn't the best, but hey, you know, I'm a collector, and sometimes you just have to, right? You just have to. Anyway, yeah, I try to not to make it a, a habit to be paying for overpriced items, but you know, when you're at Universal, what can you do? What can you do? Nothing. Because, you know, even if you go on eBay and look for them, they're marked up so freaking much. So, yeah. I had to get this guy. Oh, he's so cute. Um, but anyways, guys, that's about it for this video. Um, I hope you liked my little montage um, of my trip out there, my little vlog. Um, I mean, I, again, I had such a blast out there. If you guys can get your butts out there, you should, because it is a ton of fun. And anyway, me and E.T. are saying goodbye for now. If you like this video, give me a like or subscribe or both. I don't hate it. And you can also find me on Twitter and on Instagram at pop.comics. And I guess I'll catch y'all over there. Later.